My name's Zach. This is my room. Um, like sometimes I feel like people are watching me, and then when I sleep here, and I sleep this way, I woke up one morning and it was like really early, like it was still like five o'clock in the morning. So I woke up to use the bathroom, and then I came back and laid down, and I seen something come from this wall to this wall. It was like a big tall man, and he walked through the wall to my sister's room, and then I just got really freaked out, so I just hid under the covers and just went to sleep. And then a different night, um, I was sleeping here, and the blankets got thrown Another off Another night, me. I was sleeping that side of the bed, and then a, like a little bowl of hockey tape, like a white hockey table, got thrown at my head, and like I literally jumped out of bed and went in the hall and just started to like cry. Like this thing was torturing me, and I don't know why. This thing was just scaring me, and then this is the last story I have. Um, before like this whole room like this whole room was filled with pictures and my door was halfway shut and then when i had a um picture behind the room and there was like like when it's like daylight you would see a car light go and reflect and then i was i was like laying there and then i seen something i seen i was looking out the window and then i didn't i didn't see a car light then i seen something block the light from the actual picture which got me really scared and then, then I, I had to, I had to stop sleeping in here. Like I just sleep with the hall light on, or I just couldn't wait till my sister went to sleep. And I'm, I'm really scared of this room. It's just like, I'm sick and tired of this thing torturing me. And that's my story. Definitely, this is. But my closet is, and, and, I, and I just don't like yeah, my closet. Yeah, it goes closet. from room to room. But I, I mean, think... he's tell him I don't really feel anything. But then so I scary also, to be room. honest with you, I think it was your grandfather. I love my grandpa. Yeah, it, it, he was it's visiting busy. you guys, but yeah. remember, your mother asked really... him to please leave, and yeah. that's when this other thing really well, took no, charge. There's another grandfather, my mom's husband, my stepdad, uh, um, had passed away. Zach was in bed with him when he was eight years old. Yeah, oh, well, then I that's think definitely that's who him was. Tall man. He, you're yeah, the guy. I think that's who it is. Yeah, I think that's the tall man because he. And I just like jumped he... on, uh, on the wall from like eighty-eight to like seventy-seven. Yeah, look, and I got well, a danger. That's because you're talking about him. I got a danger reading, so there's definitely something here, but then there's also... It's all yeah. over. Yeah. And he's tall. He's very tall. Yeah, so that's what Zach said. He was six foot two. My dad yeah. wasn't as yeah, tall as is, Bill was. I think it's... Now, I definitely they, think it's the grand. And he, I think you have family. He, that's there's protecting her. Yeah. But there's, there's something mix. else here that's not friendly, Well, that's too. brought in by... That's that what was in... Whatever yeah. was in the basement is the thing that's bothering everyone. Yeah, well, that was brought in. Because you pushed it all the way down. Yeah, Mom, that was brought in. Matt, and, the and I don't I feel I anything in the closet, but I'm going to go back jeans. and feel the closet. Well, now wait till you go in her room. That's yeah. where another the house bit does of have a lot of activity. I don't think everything's going to be done overnight. Ellen, would you be able to switch this light off? Like, look, look, it's stuck on danger. It's stuck on danger. So, a lot of stuff going on. The moment we start, like, Trying to bless things is when it's gonna really get crazy. Yeah, I got yours. You need to feel the temperature. Seventy-four. Now it's going from seventy-four to seventy-three, yeah, seventy-four, cool. seventy-one. And then I get everybody. Look in the closet. Yeah, actually, I'm getting a danger reading huh. in the closet. Yeah. See, mom's kind of pissed at me. It doesn't look like girls. Yeah. I think I don't care. You can work here if you want. Yeah, you definitely you have everybody. activity. There's no doubt about that. Well, there is one thing that um, underneath this carpet, there's a pentagram. Oh my God! When we had, uh, when we remodeled the bedroom, and it was just the hardwood floors, uh, my girlfriend and I came up here and we were doing so you love spells. And pentagrams, <laughs> sweetie. It was it was in chalk. <laughs> That's where my chalk went. It's still on the floor underneath the carpet. Like when the carpet got laid down, I didn't clean it up. So you were the one who brought it in. So I was the one who brought it in. Now when I came in here, but and now I, was I don't everything. have that much activity in here. Doesn't matter. As, as they as do in their rooms. It's a doorway. That's what I was saying. I and yeah. when I you mentioned that, door. and I was blessing in this room, I started to get chest pains. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here for a second. And I'm, my stomach is. So you're laying on the sick. doorway. Yeah. Well, I have to. I'm kind of trying to ground it. Yeah. Well, what had happened is, so is I started right here under your bed. Uh, it kind of went here? like over here, 
It was big, so it's like under oh, the bed. Oh, you made a big the... one. Yeah, yeah it's well, pretty much under no here, she said. we had furniture and stuff in here, so. so. You just thought, I was just making a big yeah, like just, Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good times. <laughs> now, the weird thing was I started to get chest pains in here, and then when I reached for my medicine, the medicine was crushed, like somebody had pulverized it with yeah, a spoon or something. Yeah, it's pulverized. It doesn't want to have... And then uh, Bill had to get me water, and I, I had to step out. And that's when we went back into Alyssa's room. And when I blessed her room is when... Bill, you well, all right? He started to not feel well. Are you, you not feeling well again? I'm having trouble breathing. Yeah. All right, why don't you go Why don't you go downstairs? Plus, he's standing. You guys are realizing, not out of disrespect, but we're actually performing a ritual because there's two, four... Yeah, and we're standing in a circle or in a pentagram, uh -huh. so I think we should break that up. Yeah. So, All right. why don't you guys go down? I'm not in the pentagram. I'm fine. You're just in the middle of the boo boo. We're, now, you see how there's a circle around? No, it? yeah, I, I know what you're talking Isn't about. Isn't that, yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I see that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm at? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know what you mean. So, yeah, so we're, we're just giving it power. <laughs> Drawing a gigantic pentagram. <laughs> In chalk on her floor that's still there underneath her carpet. If it was up to me, we'd take all the furniture out right now and scrub it up, but we can't do that. So what we're going to have to do is neutralize it. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to shut the door down. That's how everything got in here. <laughs> and the coffin doesn't help in the garage. Yeah, so right. Between the coffin and the pentagram, you know, playing with these things. This is a perfect example of, you know, witchcraft what 101. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it at home. <laughs> it's like, you know what, when you're at home and you decide, I want to do a love spell. Uh, <laughs> and how that's simple could that, you know. Yeah, but a pentagram, it it's still a symbol. Is, it's still yeah. a door. I think Bill's with us. But, but you do have family protecting you. Yeah, look, you do have I, people protecting I, you. Sex. So you want to keep the family, but you want to get rid of the dark stuff. Yeah. Okay. So now we have to diagnose, go lights out, see what happens, and then go from there. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, too. You're like, this one is fun. We have to bring him out with us to the murder house, Alan. I think we probably have to chain him to <laughs> He'd be the... running right back in yeah. the car. <laughs> he'd be in there for, like, two seconds, and then he'd be, like, yeah. before we even get the equipment, he'd be, like, running back in. Right? Like, mom, mom, physically, mom. I can feel it. Physically, I had well, to, like, it's floating. Myself. It's right near me. Physically, I like, had to put myself it. back and check. Yeah. It was just that nasty. Nicole, I, love I can't tell you that. It's really okay. cool. Like it was just attacking me, like, yeah. and I could feel it. But luckily, I'm able to like, you know, neutralize it. But seriously, uh, I feel cool. It doesn't help. So, yeah, when we do, um, when we do any of the blessings and stuff, don't say a word. All right. Just let us. Yeah, don't do talk, what sweetie. We're doing. Okay. Talk when that I'm not going to talk during the blessing. And I have literally dragon's blood. Like, I'm not playing. And the dragon's blood will neutralize it. I hear knocking on the wall. Like, don't do that. It's probably your next neighbor. Right. Yeah. I literally have dragon's blood. So we'll use the dragon's blood. First rule of ghost hunting not everything is paranormal. 